Yo, what is good, you guys? It is your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. And as you can tell from the title down below, yes, we are still reacting to Wild Cards, The War. However, guys, this is the final track of the album that we will be reacting to. And um, I gotta say, man, this album, this album is definitely fire. You know what I'm saying? Every track that I've heard thus far, you know what I mean, is real quality stuff. You know what I mean? Wild Card, you definitely did not disappoint with this album, man. I love it. I'm digging it. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely one I'll be slapping in the car many, many a times. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, kind of bittersweet that it, you know, it's come to an end this soon. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? It was a fun journey. You know what I'm saying? I look forward to reacting to many more Wild Card music. And with that said, guys, there's, like I said in past videos, there is more Wild Card music available here on YouTube that I could react to, some older songs, you know what I'm saying, that I would be more than happy to react to, um, along with some other artists that I want to react to as well. Um, there's a couple of artists that I told Wildcard that I, I want to um, react to, that I wanted him to check out, because I don't know if he's heard of them. Um, I, I do want to re re uh, react to more uh, Ryan Upchurch. Uh, there's a song he did with his mom called Fallen that I really want to react to, and I want to share that with Wildcard. Because um, I think him and Ryan Upchurch could make great music together. Um, another artist I want to react to is Second Chance. Uh, that's another cat that I think him and Wildcard can make great songs together as well. Uh, oh, shout out to the user who goes by the name Julius uh, Lucci, I believe his name is. Uh, it's spelled L-U-C-C-I. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. But if not, feel free to correct me down in the comments below if I'm pronouncing it wrong. As no disrespect was intended, I assure you. Um, but he suggested to me that um, to check out some some King Crooked uh, weeklies, uh, which I also want to look into as well. Did not forget, bro. I did not forget. I just want to wrap up this this album uh, reaction first before I did anything else. You know what I mean? Because I promised Wildcard that I was gonna do a video reaction series to this album, and uh, yeah, want to want to keep my promises. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I will definitely look into King Crooked's uh, weeklies. Um, when I do get the chance, all right, so just bear with me be patient man, and uh, Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll definitely get some uh, King Crooked weeklies and uh, with that said guys um, If you have any suggestions as to artists, you know Mainly up-and-coming independent artists that you want me to react to uh, feel free to suggest in the comments down below and uh, I will do my best to get those reactions out for you um, as soon as I can all right cool now once again, guys, uh, this is the the next and actually last and final check, final check, final track uh, that we'll be looking into is uh, "Old Horse," and it looks like it's uh, Wild Card going Han Solo again, and this is right off his album uh, "Wild Card: The War," which was just released on the thirty first of January of this year. This year being twenty twenty, depending on when you're watching this. All right. So without further ado, guys. No more jabbering, like to hear, hear, go. I remember I was in the dope game, I was trying to get sober again. And uh, it was like Mother's Day, so I went to go get my mom a Mother's Day balloon and a card. And I was driving, had all intention to go see her, you know, and give her this, but... Damn it, Phil, you might make me cry in this video. Man. I, I can tell, it's gonna be one of those ones that's gonna get me right in the feels, man. Like my car was possessed, man. I just turned, I drove to the dope house. And I remember sitting there guilty, just thinking about that fucking balloon sitting in my car. Yo, they say sleep is the cousin of death. It's hard to sleep when your cousin's on meth. And he tried to warn me too, but now you play your Russian roulette. Until you dusted and combusted like it's fucking to rest. Nothing but stress. I'm sober now, but buttons get pressed. Meeting girls at shows and almost catch a buzz off they breath. Like, fuck, I'm a mess. Remember that my truth is simple. Used to always be on meth, just like the Wu-Tang symbol. So I, a leech spit a beat river into a tweet sniffer. Each stripper's deep six or a stuffer in the tree chipper. Creep with a mama almost brought a pre sniffed Enough tweak to make Denise rich. Look like Keith Richards, speech blizzards, bitten nails in a cipher. Then the crystal had me frail like Christian Bale in the fighter with the machine is even sober. I'm grateful I am, but I can lose it all if I'm not a responsible man. Yo, check it. We all felt like it all I like that this track has a bluesy feel. This is definitely the wild card that I know. You know what I mean? This is the wild card that 
got me hooked when I first heard heard of when I first heard of him and listened to his music. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm assuming that this is a track feel that if you're watching that you did with Pops, because you know you can hear the blues guitar in the background. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm I'm liking it so far, man. This is definitely a, a vibe track, and uh, it's a nice bluesy style track too. I can definitely get get that vibe from this. People like, why you always talk about dope? We get it, homie, want you talk about hope. But you don't get it, cause I do this for reminding myself of where I came from and in turn, if I could help someone else, then I'm doing my obligated job rather than yapping. I love As I mentioned in a previous uh, video, in a previous reaction for one of his other songs, yeah, man, this is, this is why music is a great form of therapy. And uh, this is why a lot of us get into it, because we understand that there are people who can relate to situations um, like this, for example, you know what I mean? And it's a good feeling for them to know that they're not alone, you know what I mean? E everyone has gone through similar str struggles, if not the exact same struggles, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, this is why we, we, we make music, because um, also, just like he said in, in this verse, you know what I mean? So, like he's saying in this verse so far, it's a reminder of where you were and how far you've come since then you know what i mean love the comedy the sex the violence the rapping but at the end of the day i gotta be accountable because i received a second chance and now the person i've amounted to is someone i'm proud of out of all the suffering and now the crowd is louder than the cephalopin and it's the passion that i balance all day the worst part was always watching all my passion decay because it's a wonderful feeling when i'll be out of the show and someone walks away from the crew and up to me yo like how'd you get out of hell please my story i tell but i could lose it all again if i'm not true to myself yo check it we've all felt like it always just trying to find a place to die In 2010, I saw the movie The Town go hard. An underground rapper named Slain was a co star. Three years later, he liked my music. We chatted, and now I'm freestyling with him on a tour bus through Canada. At 16, I watched the show Oz with Lee Turgeson. Blessed to be in film, became friends after I worked with him. My arm used to always scream, wrap me in the belt. Now I'm sober, just got home from tour with Apathy and Self. I knew all the lyrics to Bone Thug songs you guessed it. Years later, on a tour with him through Texas, and it's nice to be on my bunker. Just thinking about life, thanking God my grandpa taught me to creatively write. Now I not only can use it as inspiration and hope, but people that I have respected now can see that I'm dope. That might not mean a lot to you, but it means a lot to me. And if I wasn't sober, I'd have lost them opportunities. Check it. We've all felt like it always. Just try to find a place to die. guys so that was wild card with old horse uh fresh off his album the war and yeah man definitely a, a nice bluesy vibe track you know what i'm saying and i could tell that was pops on the guitar and um yeah i'm really glad that um he had a 
some tracks on on here that had that blues vibe you know what i mean because i think this will be a perfect segue to go back into uh reacting to ryan upchurch you know what i'm saying because i i find it i find it beautiful that you know we're, we're seeing some uh some family bands if you will you know what i mean wild card was the first one that i saw you know what i mean that that made music with with his family and by his family i mean his father you know what i mean so whenever you hear like a bluesy type track with the Gibson guitar, you know, what I mean, sounding sounding in the background. Um, that's how you know he's he did a song with with, with his father. You know what I'm saying? Which is a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? And like I said, I got to meet Wildcard and his father. Man, they're awesome folks. Real, real awesome folks. And I'm not just saying that because they might be watching. You know what I mean? No, I I seriously from the bottom of my heart, they are legit wonderful folks. You know what I mean? You ever get a chance to go to a Wildcard concert? And you get an opportunity to meet Wildcard and uh, his family, man. Definitely take advantage of that, man, because they are awesome people. You know what I mean? But yeah, and I, I'm definitely feeling th this song, man. It's man, it's an awesome song. You know what I mean? And it's good to see that, um, you know, he's finally, you know, got himself back on track. He's got his life together. You know what I mean? He knows wh where he wants to go. He knows what he wants to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Phil, if you're watching this, brother. Big ups, man. Big ups, man. This album is amazing. It's incredible, dude. Um, can't recommend this album enough to um, my 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 viewers, man. I mean, just yeah, man. Unbelievable, man. Guys, I'm telling you, you get an opportunity to go to Wild Card concert. Make sure, make sure you pick up a hard copy of this album. If you're not able to attend a Wild Card concert, at least uh, consider buying. A copy of the album on iTunes, you know what I mean? Download it, you know what I'm saying? Add it to your iTunes, man. Cause, and then look, look at more of his music, man. Cause this guy is the real deal. And like I said, this ain't the last that we'll be doing of uh, Wild Card as far as reaction videos are concerned. We will be taking a look at older songs that he's done as well. Great songs, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Man, Phil, you need a you need a tour around here in cali man so i can see you again man yeah so yeah with all you guys you know you know the drill by now i know i i, I still repeat it anyway but that's only because i just want to make sure you know what i mean you guys you know support the homie but uh anyway let me know simply down below by hitting that thumbs up that thumbs up thumbs down if you're walking walking if you're rocking with wild card you know what i'm saying if you're digging this track if you're digging this album feel free to let me know all that down there below and um feel free to provide any and all feedback for my video my reaction video series and everything would definitely uh love to hear from you and uh, if you're new to the channel uh welcome hopefully you'll consider subscribing to the channel and be a part of the jason jv family would love to have you and uh yeah all that fun stuff guys and until the next one it is your boy jason jv so y'all take care and i'll catch you guys later peace